Wow, I hope people are joining us on this session where we're discussing everything sales. How to boost your business, how to accelerate your numbers, how to develop your people, how to improve your culture, and how to be the leader of the future, which is being future fit. Times are changing, times are becoming hard. The number one skills people will need, Tony, it's selling skills. Well, more than selling skills. Good morning, good afternoon. How's it, guys? We're live and we're recording. We do our little clapper. One, two, three, go. Cheers. Wow. How's it, Temper? How Great, man. Cheers. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm better than fine. I'm excited because this has been a long time coming and I'm excited about our partnership and relationship because everybody in business needs good salespeople. And we sometimes think we're good sales or marketing people. Yeah. But the numbers will show the truth. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why, you know, my business is people, teams, leadership, culture. Yeah. But I needed sales. I was good at sales, but I, you can't juggle everything. As a one-man business, you can't juggle everything. So I was excited to find a guy like you that is a hunter. I mean, you're one of the, the sales hunters that are out there. Exactly. So. Um, and there may be a few people watching that, that are like those. But most of us are shy salespeople. And I always, <laughs> I always say shy, shy salesmen have got skinny kids. <laughs> and so I, I, I'm not that skinny. But you get to a time when you don't want to be the machine the whole time. So I'm excited to have discovered you. And I'm, I'm pleased that you're pushing us to, to get to this kind of level of process. Mm. So mm. Let's, let's share, let's, let's create, let's go. Tell me what, what, what's important for you in, in the sales, why, why are you a salesman? Okay, look, for me, uh, I've been a salesperson at the age of, from, since the age of eight. Wow. Although the, 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 the wedding or the term sales, salesperson, it didn't exist in, in, in my vocab. I didn't know about that. I didn't even know what I was doing. Uh, I started this when I was selling icing sugar. Well, icing sugar. <laughs> icing sugar. <laughs> I used to sell juice on the side of the road, but not icing sugar. I was feeding kids sugar, man. <laughs> what happened is my mom used to work for a bakery, right? And she would come home every day with so much icing sugar. I ate so much of it that to a point where I didn't even want to see icing sugar. So the entrepreneur or the salesperson in me decided, hang on, why don't make some money out of this, you know? That's when I started selling from my, from my school and I actually employed three guys to the, do this with me. At the age of eight. At the age of eight, yeah. So I, I've, <laughs> I've employed three guys from different schools because I thought, okay, I've got my school covered. Yeah. Then why not also now uh, get into the other schools? Well, you see, that's not just selling. That's entrepreneurship. That's, yeah, th yeah, that's entrepreneurship. But remember, two things must exist within you. There must be the entrepreneur and there must be the salesperson in you. So sometimes great entrepreneurs don't make great salespeople. Well, I, I can't, I'm struggling there because I can do selling. I'm not good at marketing, I'm good at selling. But I'm more the entrepreneur with the, like the technician. I, I do the people, teams, leadership, culture. Yes, but yes. I'm, a, I'm, con I'm like an invisible expert. So you sit at home or sit in your office, you either trying to do some online stuff but so you can be the entrepreneur, but then you've got to re recruit and, and reward and remunerate That's perfect. and, and exactly. retain the experts and wizards like you. Yes, remember, you, you, you don't have to be everything. But well, in the beginning you do. Yeah, yeah. at the beginning you might, you, you, you might want to be everything just to set up systems, but then you need to reach a point where you let go of certain things and let the right people run with whatever that you're running with. But it's hard to find good people, good salespeople. It's possible to, it's hard to find, but it's possible to find them. Well, I'm, I'm holding on to you. <laughs> so if you're watching, he's not for sale. He's definitely not for sale. But you, but you, but you found me. You found me now. I, don't I think you found me. Eh? I think we found each yeah. other. <laughs> so in the words, when the student is ready, the teacher will arrive. Well, I, I, well, so. I arrive exactly. So, so for me, the, the reason I'm more, I'm, I'm more into, in, into sales right now is because I'm realizing that having a nice idea, having a great product, having excellent service is not enough yeah. if you cannot sell it. Mm -hmm. And this is coming from the, the time where we've learned that not all people who are in sales are actually trained to be... To be, to be, few, to be few are trained. Exactly. Correctly. Yeah, exactly. Not everyone is, is, is trained to be a salesperson, you know. So we're also moving into a time right now where Selling is not just about forcing you to get my product and service. I need to build a rapport with you. I need to build a relationship with you. So you need to have people skills. 
I think that's the foundation of the process. Yes. And I've seen that from the other trainings that I've done. But you know, so many companies, they put people in the field, they expect them to perform. But they don't keep tuning and upgrading and retraining and re-optimizing on a regular basis, what I call consciously constructive. Yes, yes. But there's companies overseas, they call deliberately deliberately developmental, but they spend half a day developing their stuff and half a day commercial. Yeah. Now that's, that's hectic. But I'm saying train your people, develop your people at least 30-40 minutes every day. Be consciously constructive. Exactly. When I had my computer business, every morning you had 45 minutes of training. If you looked, if you worked with me in, in my, my computer business, every day, five days a week, we had training. And there goes my, my protector, Goldie. <laughs> We're running from home. Yeah, I know it's great. It's, it's so, good to have the dogs around. So you've kind of got me to the point of we need to focus, we need to get our wisdom out. You know, I've spent all my time on neuro sales, neuro persuasion, NLP, time, time on therapy, all the inner wisdom and power. Yeah. But the problem is I need someone to sell it and I need a partner that can bring the sales wizardry that we blend those two together. So, you, to say so you, you know, people do just do sales training and then they throw them into a bad culture with bad leadership and bad management. It, it, it won't work. So I, my excitement is I bring that whole f high performance revolutionary workplace. You bring all the sales management. Exactly. And together, I think, but I've seen companies 4x their business from 200 million to 800, almost 800 million. I've helped oh, companies that's... double sales in 90 days. I've helped, but I don't do the sales part of it. I just do the people, team, leadership, so culture. If, yeah, imagine now we're going to put in the sales well, part of it. That's what then... I'm excited. So wow, if, you, be... if you're watching and you have a business and you want to improve business performance, you can't just have, you can't just do one part and then expect the rest of the machine. The, the, the rest to fall into place. Because that's, like that's that. the constraint. You can have exactly. a, a lack of sales guy. But if you've got bad management, bad culture, bad context, you'll break them eventually. It's, no, it's not going to work. Look, I think for me this thing, I haven't really done a study on it, but I'm thinking it's 70% it's, uh, it's mind, 30% sales skills or business skills or leadership skills, whatever the yeah. case might be. It all starts here. Absolutely. You I believe it. Mindset, 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 mindset. Mindset, 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 You need to be prepared for success, you know, so that... It doesn't matter, no matter how hard the times get, no matter how difficult it is, uh, how difficult it gets, no matter, no matter what, whatever that might, might happen, if your mind is prepared for success, if your mind is, 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 is prepared for greatness, uh, you're, you, you're, you're just going to get through everything. And, 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 and this is why, uh, this is why Tony, I wrote my book. Uh, I was going to ask you about that. Step out, yes. step out from your comfort zone. Because for so many years I've operated in a state of comfort. You know, we all do, and I think people don't realize this. And we, I, when I say people, I'm including myself. I'm, I'm, it's not like I'm immune from that. I'm, I'm excluding myself. People don't realize it that you are in comfort, and until you ask yourself a question, what am I doing with my life? You know, why am I not getting the results which I am wanting or I am expecting mm -hmm. and stuff like that? Until you find someone who's gonna say, hey. Wake up, wake yeah, up, wake up, wake up. That's you know, that's my role. Wake up, you know? Wake up. Really wake up. Wake up. Yeah. You you need to get to that point where someone will, will tell you the truth without you getting emotional with love. Or sensitive becoming too sensitive about it. People are sensitive are people people are sensitive are weak. Are weak people. You need to be able to handle the truth and accept the truth because that's what's but gonna it, build you. But it can be hard sometimes. It must be hard. I love the word hard. It must be hard. Tough, tough. It must be tough. I must not sugarcoat things. If you are lazy, I must say it in your face, Tony, you're lazy. Sure. You get what I'm saying? Tony, you're lazy. Because you're going out there. I've met people who are going out there claiming to be doing things which they're not doing. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Until you meet someone who says, you know what? You, you, you're not cutting it. You BS yourself. Exactly. So, but I think I like what you said because there's a foundation of resilience or adversity intelligence. And I worked with Professor Stoltz in America with that. But it's all good and well being resilient. If you don't have the vision of greatness and the passion and a bigger vision for yourself, you can be resilient in, in the swamp. But it's resilient and then flying high to that greatness. But yeah. you're writing another book. Tell me about that book. Sales Superstar. Yes. Wow, I'm so excited about this book. This book is about creating high performance high performance sales people for them to understand exactly what does it mean to be a salesperson, how to, how to get sales done how to close business not just think you are, you are, you are working look, I've, I've, uh, there's, there's a couple of people that I'm pushing right now and I put them into a test to say I need you to call at least 100 companies in a week you know, I need to knock on doors because someone will say I'm working and they're only speaking to one person a week they're speaking to 
Sometimes they're not do, even doing anything. Sometimes they stay in bed, all these kind of things. <laughs> so I want to get people out there and, 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 and get the work done. But also, I like the fact that it, my, my, my book talks about, it talks more on, uh, on, on attitude, on what you see, right? Because I, I work with startup entrepreneurs who say, look, I want your sales training, but my company is just small for now. I cannot afford it. And I ask them the question, for how long do you want to stay small? Because my coaching is to help you get big. And what kind of car are they driving as well? Or what suit are they wearing as well? They always find money for what they want. Exactly. So you always find money for something that's valuable to you. Yeah. So if someone doesn't want to pay for sales coachings to help them get a business from A to B, it's because they don't think that's very important to them and stuff. So I like it because when someone says, look, I don't have money right now. My company is still small. You, you want to stay small until when? Because what, I want, what, I, what I'm wanting to do is to take a business from small to big. Then bigger, 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 bigger. Bigger, 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 bigger. it's only through sales you're going to do it's, that. It's, 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 it's only through sales, it's only through development. Like my book starts actually in two parts, like, like I've said to you before. First part is mind development. I cannot run away from that. Because I believe that your mind is the most powerful tool in Absolutely. you. Belief creates reality. Exactly, exactly. Thoughts become things. Whatever that you think of, whatever you believe about yourself, whatever you think you, 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 yourself as, that's exactly what you're, what you're going to be. What you're going to become. I'm going to add one thing to that. I've been doing some work with a, an online person, and they say essentially where you're vibrating at, the, the, the level you're resonating at, at, is what you will attract to you. So the problem that I see is most people live in the past, the bad, the tough, the rough, and so they live in their oh times are tough. I'm so poor me. And so they attract more of that versus focusing on where they're going to, what they're looking to achieve, exactly. what they create, resonate and vibrate at that higher level, and then you will attract that. You know, people want the money, then they'll feel good. It's the other way. Feel good, resonate good, and then you'll attract and be doing and have the money. I get what you're saying. I think for me, look, Tony, I want to add also to that. Until one wants to succeed as just like they want to breathe, you'll never get successful. Do you know that story about the, the old man, the wise man, this young guy, he, he's kind of awakening and he says, I want to go and learn from that wise man. So he goes to the wise man, he knocks on the door, and the old man comes in his, his robes, and the young man's all cocky, he says, I want, to learn a, I want to learn all what you know. So the wise man says, really? You really, really want He says, yeah, sure. He says, okay, <laughs> go home, give away everything. He says, what? He says, give away everything. And come only with a robe like this tomorrow. But you give away everything. The guy's like, wow, what? Really, I have to give away? He says, if you want to learn from me, that's cool. Mm. So he goes and he thinks, well, okay, I'll do this. Goes home, gives away everything, but he's still like, wow, this is crazy. Gets to that, the, the man's door in the morning, early six o'clock, he says, let's go to the river. Goes down to the river, he says, look in the water, what do you see? And he, as he's looking in the water, the old man grabs his head. And he puts his head under the water. So he thinks, okay, like, there's there, but now holding his breath, holding his breath, holding his breath, but now he's got to breathe. And he starts like, <gasps> and then now he starts to fight. And the man holds him even harder and harder and harder for like two and a half minutes. Yo. And eventually he's like, ah! <gasps> what are you doing? He says, when you, what did you want right there? He said, I wanted to breathe. I wanted to breathe, like, exactly. Says, when you want my wisdom, as much as you wanted to breathe, then we'll start. Wow, I like that. <laughs> and, most, and that's the thing, most of us, we, we want the easy way. Ex but yeah, exactly. The easy way is not the high level wealthy way, like you see this Grand Cardone and the, the, the millionaires and the billionaires, unless you steal it on the side. But it takes hard work, it takes dedication, it takes, it takes it, commitment, exactly. it takes skill, it takes mindset. It takes tears, Tony. It takes tears, it, it takes sweats, it takes blood. For me, look, I used to cry myself to, to sleep because I thought I made a mistake. After, after I quit my job, because for me, my comfort zone was my job. Because when I was... J-O-B. J-O-B, yeah, Just exactly. Over broke. <laughs> Just over broke. <laughs> yeah, so look, for me, for me it was dead, and I realized, look, there's more potential in me. Isn't there more potential in everybody? The people watching... P the, 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 everybody. the people who are watching right now, there's, there's, there's more potential in, 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 in each and every one yes. of them. But I'll, but I'll tell you one thing, they never pull the trigger. They never pull the trigger. It does no good to aim, so but, how, how, do but they, how do they pull the trigger? You must just get out. No, no, it's, it's easy to say you must just, but how do you, if you, I'm a paraglider, okay? You stand on top of a mountain to a paraglider and you run like crazy to the end and hope like it's all inflated. It's like a bungee. You're standing there. If your body won't let you go, how do you go? I, I, I have a solution. 
Okay. You need somebody to push you. I think it's, a, it's the poet Gilmer is talking about the mother bird and the bird, and, and she said, come to the edge. And the little bird says, no, we're scared. And she said, come to the edge. And they said, no, 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 we're scared. She said, come to the edge. Yeah. And they did, and she pushed them, and they flew. Oh, and that's our, that's our role in, in the sales accelerator. To push. Is to, to take you to the edge. To push, take them to the edge. Of comfort. Of comfort. And then to grow you that you fly. I like that. I like so that. if you want to fly, give us a call, give us a chat, send us a message. Yeah, I think I think I think also it will be nice to 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 get uh, some feedback or some comments and stuff from 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 the people who are watching this to say, hey, this is why I'm struggling. How can I deal with it? Yeah, I, I think it, this is where I'm going wrong. What do you think I should be doing differently? But for me, the best quote that I like it's get off the crowd. Get out of the crowd. Get off the crowd. Get out of the crowd. Get off the crowd. You must you must find your way. You find your way, find your way. Be willing to stand up on your own. Be willing to stand up on your own. Just, just find your way. Be, be comfortable traveling, traveling alone. Be and comfortable doing that. Be comfortable and be, be, be comfortable being uncomfortable. Be comfortable being up. Look, don't look for guarantees. Don't look for guarantees. Life will never give you hey, that. People, some people need certainty. It's it, it doesn't human work. Human need. No, it doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work if you want to build bigger success. Tony, I'll tell you something. In the next minute, you could die. Sure. There's no guarantee that, ah. that you will finish recording this video. But we don't see that line coming at us. Do you get what I'm so, saying? So we postpone. Hey, I, I, I said I'm going to write my book when I'm 24. It took me 35 years from decision to action. Do, 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 do you get what I'm saying? Because all of the time you're just sitting on your couch, having popcorn, having pizza, having all these kind of things, getting lazy, uh, watching TV, TV no, no, watching, yeah. getting broke, all these kind of things. No, TV is. Time vampire. Time Vampire. Steel. There we go. Time Vampire. And what's that thing you change the channel with? The remote. No. It's an automatic income reducer. Because <laughs> you know, have you ever made a million watching TV? Automatic time reducer, right? No, automatic income reducer. Oh, okay, income. Sorry about automatic that. Okay. Income automatic income reducer. So what you're saying is the more I sit and watch TV, the less the, you earn. The more the more I, I don't make money, the less I earn. Yeah. And the more broke I become and the more depressed I get. All these kind of things. What most people don't understand, and I've lived this with my parents, by the time most people are 65 and have to stop working, at least 85 to 90 percent of them will not be able to retire. They will not have the money in the bank, available cash, to fund their daily life. Wow. They will eat dog food or cat food. When I was a Boy Scout, young guy, Hillbrow was a white village, old ladies, we used to take them canned food. They were eating a half a ton of cat food for breakfast. Half a ton of food. Well, that was cheapest. But what do you do if you've got no money? Is it even healthy? Well, you, they live, they survive. That we used to take them food. But the reality is, if you don't have the resources get today, food. Get food. I always, I, I used to take bags of dog food to to my training and say, have a nibble of that. If you don't like that, make sure you're going to have money for the next twenty to thirty. Because we're going to live to a hundred. How do you fund from sixty, sixty-five to a hundred? That's good. So, I think let's talk about, you've, you've come up with this idea of Sales Accelerator. What, what made you get to this? It's because we want to, want to be building high-performance businesses, high-performance high, high, uh, uh, people. Uh, we want to take businesses from zero to hundred, a thousand. From slow to go. From slow, not even go, from slow to fly. <laughs> I think we should call it slow to fly, you know, where you say, Look, my business is not is not doing what I'm expecting. I'm expecting to be doing right now. So the sales accelerator program is designed to make sure that you hit your sales numbers. But also, we're not only focusing on that. We're focusing on the people in the organization. We're focusing on your teams. We're focusing on the culture of the organization. It's so vital. That we're focusing also on developing the leaders within the organization because without a great leader, you might have great salespeople, but then the leader is just gonna feed them whatever that's gonna just not get them out there getting them done and bringing in the results. So what, what is the content be? What is, what is your vision of the, pro the content? How long is the workshop? What is the content of the workshop from your perspective? Okay, so we've designed this, we are designing this sales accelerator uh, system, uh, which is going to vary, by the way, which is going to, it's, it's, it's going to be made up of sales workshops, going to be made up of sales, uh, sales seminars, uh, sales, uh, sales conferences, sales, sales boot camps, sales coaching. So we just want to, even if even when you do a, a group team building, when I just want to do group team building sales uh, for sales team, yeah, for sales team exactly, and service teams, and service team to just to get them doing 
something out of their comfort zone, getting them to get the work done and all these kind of things. But also together, they're better together than alone very often. You know, an organization is people communicating, collaborating, connecting together to make it yeah, you better. Can, yeah, you can't do it alone. And who, who do you see this being for? Okay, this is for, obviously, uh, like I said, when we, started, when we started this, everyone is in sales. Everyone no, is in say, sales. But say that again. No, because people think there's a salesman, but everyone. Everyone is in sales. From the receptionist everyone's to in sales. the service manager to even to the cleaners, everybody. Everyone is in is sales. sales. Everyone is in sales. So, so, so I will I'll not be doing justice if I say this training is only, or this system is only built for salespeople. No, I'll, I'll, I, won't, I won't be fair. So, we want everyone who says, you know what, I'm not satisfied with the results that I'm getting. I want more. So, to answer your question, I, I will not say it's for leaders, it's for salespeople, it's for people who say, I want more. But I think it's beyond the want more, to pull the trigger, I'm going, I'm choosing, I'm taking action to improve I want change. my mindset. I want change today. Yes. I want my life to change today. So, if, if, if it's you who's watching this right now and you say, I want my life to change today, this is for you. Absolutely. This program yeah. is for the person who's saying right now, I want change. I want more. I want more. I deserve more. I deserve, no, because we do. We all deserve okay. more. We all deserve more. And it's, 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 I'm not being arrogant or whatever, but we all deserve more and we can all get more. Tony, are you breathing there? Yeah. Am I breathing here? Yeah. Do you, do you, uh, do you worry about me breathing? No. Do you think I'm going to finish this? Uh, this? No, not today. <laughs> but that's success. Yeah. But the success, there's, there's enough for everyone. There's enough for everyone. But it starts with the belief of I can and who I am. And I think a lot of people, they come from the frame of reference. If, if you think of the words you associate with salespeople, mm. like used car salesmen, they're pushy. And I think we have to reframe that from being a salesperson to being a problem solver. So I yeah. never walk into a client and say, I'm here to sell you something because we don't want to be sold. But if I say, tell me what problems you have and I'll see if I can solve them for you. And if I've got a solution, can we do business? You take away that, neg I get it. that negative framing. I get it. Because no one wants a pushy, pushy. No, no. And no, in fact, let me just add to this. If there's someone watching this right now. As there are a few. Who's in sales. Who's in sales. My, my advice to you is stop selling, start saving. There we go. Stop selling, start saving. With passion and love. Start saving. We had to save. Don't chase the bucks. No, we had to save. Show people that you care. There we go. Be show, your best. Show people that you care in solving their problems, in leaving them better than you found them. Save them. So here's, here's my question for you, and I don't think I've played this game with you. I often, when I do my talks or the workshops, I ask the people in the room, on a scale of 0 to 100, so that's your scale, 0 to 100. How much of your potential are you using right now? You, you, you are exposing me now on live, on live, uh, uh, on live Facebook. <laughs> now I'm going to say, I'm going to say 20 and... This, no, but, and but that's honest. And the people will say, but this guy now is, 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 is coaching us to pull the trigger, but it's operating on 20. No, okay, no. let me tell you something. I think I'm on, I think I'm on 75, close to 70, 75. So here's my challenge. What's going to happen to go to 85 or 95? I've, I've overcome uh, my fear a long time ago. And what's going to happen to go higher? And change how I'm doing things. And that's number one. And what happens, number two, if you think it's 75, mm -hmm. but it's only 10? Yeah, that's scary, eh? But that's what I love is we have an incredible potential. Mm -hmm. The limitation is mm -hmm. how we think, feel, and act. How we see ourselves, our identity, and a belief in ability to go and do. Mm. I've watched you and I've listened to you. I don't think you're at 75. I think you've got 10x potential on top of that. Wow. And I believe everybody nice. with, the right, with the right skills, <laughs> with the right mindset, with the right coaching, with the right support, with the right yeah. culture, yeah. with the right teamwork, I think everybody can bring a much better game. It's true. You'll feel better, you'll do better, you'll have more, life is brighter, but you need something to knock you out of that habitual you, you, negative thinking process. You know what, you always need someone. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll tell you something. There's, there, there's more people who, who write to me, some who even call me, talk to me and say, look, I'm not getting the results that I want. And the first question I ask them is, who's coaching you? Mm. Who's mentoring you? You know what the answer is? 
I don't have a coach. I don't have a mentor. Professionals know the value of positive, honest with love feedback. And exactly. inspiration. So getting a coach, getting a mentor, getting somebody, what I call a SEAL, a success insurance accountability leader, where you make a promise and they hold you accountable exactly. to deliver that promise. Yes. And, and that's, there's a big consequence, and whether it's your car, uh, I, did, I did, played it with somebody once, they needed to do something, and they hadn't been able to take the action. So I said, would you like to be able to do that? They said, yes. I said, okay, cool. What do you own? And they said, well, I've, my car is paid. I said, okay, by next Friday, you will take this action. X, Y, Z, it was detailed. If you don't take the action, you give me your car. Okay, it's like, <gasps> but we shook hands on it and I would take the car, I would take their car. They took the action because there was a big consequence to non-action. And we need to set that up for ourselves. Is How many of us say, I'm going to lose weight, I need to do some. And then we go back to habit. Mm. Say, I should do this. And then we go back to habit. Mm. You want somebody that loves you enough that will hold you absolutely accountable for the promise you make. No excuses, and that's why our website results beyond reasons. That we, we're not looking for excuses. Either you get up, make it happen, or you're an ex you've got an excuse. You can't have results and excuses. You either have one or the other. Exactly. So we have two, three minutes left. Explain to these people what they can get, what the benefit, why should they come to Sales Accelerator? Obviously, what we're, what, what we're, what, what we're promising here is a new way of doing things. It's where we are, we are promising and, and, and guaranteeing, provided that they, they do what this program is all about. Results. I think for me... Getting the, getting the results that, 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 they, that, that they're wanting. I think for me the problem that we're solving with our process is we're getting individual people to bring more value to the organization. So if you get people to stay longer, be more engaged, bring more commitment, go the extra mile, add more value, we know from the, we, from the research with salespeople, if you can just grow your salesperson's performance by 20% a year and keep them for one year longer than your normal sales tenure, that's like a 250% increase. Mm. So if you want a 250 or 300 or 400% increase in your organizational performance, your sales, the value your people bring, even if this with the right mindset, people can be up to seven times more valuable in their workplace. So for me, we're solving the problems of people, teams, leadership, culture, and sales. Yeah. That's the thing. Is we're yeah. doing a, a complete holistic approach to build a high-performance team where people love to come to work, they're engaged, they're passionate, they bring their best, where there's good teamwork and trust, and you know, we always have these conflicts in a workplace. I was reading a thing. Average company's cost of conflict is 10 to 12% of annual salary. So if whatever your annual salary is, take 10 to 12 percent, that's what it's costing you that you're not aware of, it's average. So in others with higher conflict like we have in our country, it could be even higher. Yeah. I wanted to ask you one last question. Sure. And this is because we've got Ebony and Ivory here. Is sales expertise, is it easier if you're a, if you're a white person or black person? Because I know from my own environment, you, you see a lot, lot more people that are or, or European or white in selling than black people. Okay. Why? It's about culture. It's, and, and culture, I don't mean black, white, whatever, 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 whatever. I mean, it's, it's, it's about your personal culture. It's, it's, it's about the environment that you operate in. If you operate in, a, in an environment of highly successful people, you are going to become successful. This thing wraps off, Tony. Mm, birds of a feather flock together. It wraps off, I promise yes. you. It, so it doesn't, it, it, has, it doesn't have to do with white, black, whatever, 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 whatever. Magenta. <laughs> <laughs> Pink, green, yellow. Pink, green, yellow. It, 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 it has nothing to do with that. Show me your friends. I'll show you your bank account. I'll show your bank account. And I'll show you your future. You, so, so, hang around with people who are successful. Hang around with people who are good in selling. People that are higher than you in Hang success. around with people who are higher I have a new in success. Anyone can become green sales. Everyone can become a sales superstar, and th and that's why this book, it's all about sales superstar. It's, it's it's about that. How do you become a sales superstar? And you're gonna show them how. And to I'm do gonna it. show them how to do that. You guarantee that. I guarantee that. All right. Money back guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think guys, it's 25 minutes. We've been talking along here. I want to thank you. I've really. Yeah, sure. I'm excited. 
to, to being getting involved in this process. I'm excited to bring my revolutionary workplace stuff and blend it with yourself, superstar. And I think the two of us are going to be able to dance and change lives and change business and, and help organizations boost their business. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want to go yet without saying this. Okay. The person who's watching this right now, who's wanting to change how they're doing things, I want them to give us a message right now. Sure. So I want you to go to your email, phone, whatever, inbox, say, hey, don't say a lot of things. Just say, yeah, I'm here. I want to change how I'm doing things. I'm ready. I'm ready. That's all. And we'll, we'll get some stuff together and we'll be online again sometime. We will record in packages and make it available. And we're going to start to put out our sales accelerator web page. I built the page already last night at 1 yeah. o'clock this morning. And we'll have it available. So thanks for watching. Share with your friends. We'd love to see you around. If you want to boost business and accelerate your sales, Tony and Temba, the boys, to do it for you. Yeah, cheers. Ciao. Thank you.